How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about Lucid, which was down 0.81% on the day. We have one more day left in the week before the long weekend. So, you know, I got you guys covered. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder, you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're gonna go over is a technical analysis. We're gonna be taking a look at the overall price action. We wanna know support, we wanna know resistance, we wanna know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're gonna be going on Fintel, taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information. The reason why this is important, because it does have an impact impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for Lucid. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $17.16, being down 0.81%. On the low, it tested $16.55. And then on the the high testing $17.66. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 13.159 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 20.358 million shares. So we had below average volume on the day and it's part of the reasons why we've seen a pullback in the stock. Now when we take a look at our chart, which is a daily chart, you can see from the RSI down below it's at 45.11. And then when we take a look at our moving averages, we are below below the 200 day, we're below the 50 day, and as well as the 21 day EMA. So it's clear to see that Lucid is in our bear market trading below all of our major moving averages. And as you can see, we have a further continuation of forming lower lows and as well as lower highs. But one thing that is clear, we ended up testing $16.55. If you remember, I said if Lucid breaks below $16.50, we could see some further weakness. So that's a level you're going to watch going to tomorrow. And then as far as for the the upside is concerned if you want to see it pick up especially reversing this bearish trend we have going it needs to get to the 21 day EMA which is at $18.01 we ended up seeing a high at $17.66 so taking this into consideration we need to have that 21 day EMA curling up above that 50 day moving average to show us that you know what lucid is back on an uptrend if not or even if we get rejected trying to test it then we're gonna make another further low and you can also see that we have finally filled in the gap to the downside. So let's see what it does going into Friday, but at least you know what it looks like to the upside and as well as for the downside if it breaks below 1650. Now let's move on to the short interest information. So we're going to take a look at the recent short interest information for Lucid. So the off exchange short volume ratio is at 57.98% and then for the off exchange short volume, it is just over 2.75 million shares. Scrolling down on the page, the short shares availability is at zero, updated 12 minutes ago. And then for the short ball, fee rate it is at 39.46 percent when we take a look at the history of the short volume we can see for the close of the 28th it was at 57.01 and then for the close of the 29th being at 57.98 so it creeped up a little bit and then when we take a look at the short interest percentage of the float it is at 22.58 percent so what this tells us lucid does have short squeeze potential now let's move on to the order flow distribution now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for lucid so we see on the inflow it is at 34 point eight seven million and then on the outflows at thirty eight point nine one million so we had an outflow day taking a look at the breakdown on the large it was four point five five million on the medium it was fifteen point six one million and then on the small it was fourteen point seven one million taking a look at the outflow side you can see on the large it was three point seven three million on the medium it was seventeen point four eight million and then on the small it was seventeen point seven zero million taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you could see for June the 30th, we had that inflow of 0.82 million. And for the 29th, we also have a negative 4.78 million, which was an outflow. When we analyze the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tends to represent the retail side, you could see that we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the large represents whales, institutions, and funds, we had more buying than we had selling. 
And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 0.79%. So this is continuing to be a consistent range for Lucid for the past two days. So what we see in regards to trading volume is not as much as we've seen in the past. And we have noticed that since we are getting closer going into the long weekend. So let's get into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details. So for my final thoughts for Lucid, before we start talking about the price action, let's talk about the catalyst that came out. So we have it here. So Lucid Air Grand Touring performance is the fastest production car to race up the hill at the 2022 Goodwood Festival of Speeds Time Shootout. A testament to Lucid's breakthrough engineering, the 1,050 horsepower luxury EV sedan driven by Ben Collins was 100% stock down to the standard low rolling resistance tires. This is also the first appearance that this new model has made. So this is definitely some great news for Lucid and it's great for investors to know. We already know that they are well known for having great technology in their vehicles, especially for their batteries. And then we also have the performance on top of that and it being shown for the world to see is definitely some great news. And that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. Now let's talk about the price action. So we ended up seeing a load today at $16.55. If you remember what I've said in my previous videos, if we did fall below $16.50, this shows a lot of weakness. But what is very interesting, we also have the 21 day EMA, which is at $18.01. So if we're able to see a turnaround in the market and we have some price action to the upside, this is where Lucid needs to get above. We also can't forget that it has the psychological area at 20 bucks. But another point that I wanna bring up, you remember the gap fill that we had to the downside? Today, we were able to fill that out. But as far as for the technicals and the way it's been looking, we are continuing to have lower lows and as well as lower highs. And this is not bullish whatsoever, but that's why we wanna see what happens going into Friday so you know those levels to the downside and as well as for the upside when we went on Fintel taking a look at the recent institutional ownership we do see some activity but not a lot we've also covered many of it as well and then when we take a look at the short interest information it does continue to have short squeeze potential we see that there's a lot of fear and uncertainty in these markets we have data that is coming out showing that you know what we are in a high inflationary environment and it doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon so a lot of growth stocks and the entire market market as a whole is going to be impacted and that's why Lucid is following along. And we can clearly see when we were taking a look at that order flow distribution, we do see the selling on the retail side. So that's something we want to be cognizant of. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see how the stock performs going into Friday. We'll talk soon.